everyone, it's Sue Ralph here with Birdcage Craft Studio. So it's the end of another week. So this is week three and crafting tip from me to you number 21. And I thought what I'd do today is to show the embellishment I made for my glue bottle. A couple of people have mentioned it, so I just thought I'd show you. It's quite easy to make. What I've done is I've bought myself some bottle caps. I got the idea really because um, Stampin' Up! had some a little while ago, but they've, they've gone now. It's a different... Um, in one of the celebrations catalogues I think I'm not sure anyway so I bought these from a local shop that do sort of um, brewery kits and things like that and this is how I made it so what you want is you need your um, die cutting machine and you need one of the bottle caps and you need your platform and your two plates okay put your bottle cap face up so the smooth sides on your on your uh, platform because that's not a cutting pad and you only want the one cutting pad Place that on top, put it through your machine, and hey presto, when it comes out, no problem at all, it's flattened. I don't know if you can pick that up, this is one that hasn't been flattened. So you've got two sides, okay, so this one is sort of indented in more, so that's a good one for putting um, your embellishment on, because then you can fill it with the, the crystal effects. So what you need to do is um, get yourself a um, piece of card and then a stamp and some colours. I'm actually going to use my Blendabilities because I have found if you just use the normal markers when you put the crystal effects on it does actually blur, blur out the pattern. So let's have a go with this. Because they're alcohol markers you need to be quick working. So what I've discovered is I'm going to put some ink just onto my stamp. Now this is the lighter colour of the blues that I'm using, so I'm very quickly going to put it on my stamp and then I'm going to stamp down, okay, and then you get the effect. If you leave it too long, the alcohol dries out of the pe uh, pen um, on your stamp so you wouldn't be able to get the impression. And then I'm going to just touch up some of the, the leaves on here, so I've got the next shade of the blue. So I'm literally just going to go around, just pick out a couple of the leaves and just colour them in, like that. And then I'm just going to bring in the pink marker, uh, sorry, the blendability, and I'm just going to add a little bit more colour. I'm going to use the pink one. Just colour that in. Maybe just that tip. Okay, so you don't have to be so tidy at the moment. And then what you want to do is you want to bring in your inch uh, hole punch. Pop that in so that you get the image that you want to get out. I'm just going to do that from the top. Punch it out. And then what I actually did, and I'll just show you this when it's still drying at the moment. I then stuck it down, I put some pearls on it and then I covered it with crystal effects. Now because obviously it's not going to dry in time for the video, I am just very quickly going to show you what I did with the crystal effects to stick it down to the, the base of my um, bottle cap. So just put a little bit of crystal effects on there and then put on your stamped image. Okay, just leave that a few seconds just to dry out. And then what I used is um, my cropper dial. And this one has got a, a small hole and a larger hole. And this, this can cut through anything. They're absolutely brilliant. I have actually got one for sale, I think, on my shop. Yes, I think I've got one left. And that's at www.birdcagecraftstudio.co.uk. So check out my shop on my blog. Um, if you're interested in getting one of these and then what you need to do is you just need to bring it in and I've used the larger one pop your bottle cap in press down just squeeze you hardly any work there and then you've got your hole now obviously what I would have done I would have done the hole and then put my little diamonds on and covered it with glossy effects Okay, but it's not going to dry in time. So this is what it would have looked like. And if you can imagine a hole on the top. And then what you need to do is get yourself a piece of ribbon. 
okay and you just fold it into a loop and then that loop just pass it through the hole in your bottle cap and then just pass it through like so and then you have a little embellishment that you can stick for a sort of a scissor charm or you know anything even on a card for an embellishment uh, and you can also decorate the back as well and what I have got on my um, blog shop is I have got some kits where I've already uh, punched out the holes for you with the corresponding size circles with the holes punched out so you can just go and make your own but to be quite honest you can get these as I said from sort of a hardware shop or anywhere that sells um, beer making kits okay I hope you've enjoyed that tip and I will see you for week four tomorrow bye <laughs>